Hello everybody and welcome back once again to the channel gaming here and uh, I just want to show how I get models for No Man's Sky and I'm not sure if everybody knows about the search bar that it has so you don't have to like physically search through millions of files. But what you do need is No Man's Sky Modular. Um, I'll put a link to the site. Uh, it's by uh, Greg K. Waste. I'll put a link in, in the description of the No Man's Sky Model Viewer. So we open up the Model Viewer. And in here we say open from a pack. So you're also obviously going to have to have No Man's Sky on your on your computer. Uh, because that's where it's going to get all the files from. So rather than searching through all these files to find what you're looking for, right down here, very bottom, search bar. And in this case, the latest thing I did was the new Utopia Speeder. So I just typed in SP. You know, right there, I just did V, and right here at the very top, it says VR Speeder. And the VR Speeder is copious. So we'll just double click on that. And yeah, it comes up with incomplete files. But you can see it right down here. We have to use W. So here is the uh, Utopia speeder, and it kind of shows flame of uh, the jets in the back there. We can get rid of that once we save it, and uh, we'll open it up. In so then we want to just right click, say export OBJ, launch on here already because I already have it right here. Uh, this have it. I'll just save it and overwrite it. Then what we want to do is uh, open Blender. I usually just get rid of the box. Uh, and we import Wavefront OBJ. And then wherever you saved that file, scroll through tab it. Here. Peter, right there. OBJ. They import. That's going to import. The and, and then all I usually do is kind of go and grab these little things that I don't need. And I delete. Uh, we also. That would probably be okay. That's probably all. Delete. That's that's you focus. You could get rid of some of this. Separate it. Meant to, you don't know, break the legs off. I did 3D print one of these already. Keep in mind, these wings right here are actually really thin. I mean, super thin. Maybe a millimeter. Want to export? 
as a STL. Put it in our folder where we want it. And I'm just going to call it speeder again. Let me. Oh, it's because it's already. And we're kind of done with Blender. At which point you want to open. There's a couple different ways to do this. A lot of this I learned from uh, Dave UK, and I'll put a link to his channel down in the description. Blender is a free program that you can download from their site itself, or you can get it through Steam, which it's a lot better to get it through Steam because it'll automatically update. I'm sure a lot of you watching this already know it, but if you're new to it, maybe this maybe this will help you out a little bit. So now we want to open up, we have a program that's built into Windows and it's called the 3D Builder. Uh, you can get it from the Microsoft Store. Yeah, you can see I've already had it in here. I'm just going to go with a new seat. Open. A 11.47 p.m. I want to open this one. And now here we have our our Utopia speaker, one that we just cleaned up a few of the things right here. We want to say import model and it's going to come up and it's going to tell us that there's errors. Fine. Just uh, click this right here and it will automatically repair those errors. And once it's done repairing those errors, save the file. But after that's done, which definitely takes some time. Three hours later. Okay, so now after it's all done doing that and save it, uh, I use Ultimaker Cura. Uh, I have a Ender 3, uh, and it, 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 it works fairly good. Uh, so what we want to do is go in here, open, find our speeder, open it up. Now it's really, really tiny in here. Uh, when you first open it up, so we'll have to make it bigger. Select the model and scaling right here. This will scale everything easily. And actually lift the part up. So depending on how big you want it. And then you can choose what kind of supports you want to do. Or you can chunk it up. Uh, whatever works best for you. However you... But the main thing that I wanted to show in was how you can just search in this, this bar down here. For whatever file you're looking for. Like, let's just say... Drone. It'll come up with uh, different types of drones. Fine. Got a corrupted drone. Let's see if that'll pop up. It's failed on a file, but it looks like it's right in the button plus that was rotation. Okay, how we can out of focus here. New to this to be honest. Uh the vertical is R and N. Oh go. Oh. Yeah, the, uh, then pull this this drone, uh, you know, save it again, export OBJ, pull it into uh, Blender, uh, delete any of the little, uh, I like to call them cookies, cookie crumbs, delete any of the cookie crumbs that we don't need. 
then we can save it as a STL and uh, we could try to print it. Like I said, that's mainly what I was uh, wanting to go with this video. But anyways, uh, like I said, this is just what I was trying to show is how you can look through here uh, and type in what you're looking for and see if you can pull it uh, pull it out. Uh, I've had I have some things that I've tried pulling up that won't pull up. Don't know why. Fighter drill. Mac. I think the mech was one of them that I couldn't get. Oh no, there it is. There's the mech. So if we. Oh, two part. I think I tried to um, print this one. Uh, save this. Print it, but it gave me a whole bunch of errors. I'm still gonna I'm still gonna try and mess with it. But anyways, this is this is what I wanted to show is that there's if you're using the NMS uh, model viewer, there's that little search bar down there that you can try to search for what you're looking for. Um, just type in you know a couple letters of what you're looking for and then look through the list and see if you can pull it in and and, and maybe print it out and have fun. Uh, I love doing this. Have fun. I wish I knew how to do it with other games too. But uh, yeah. Anyways. Thank you all so much for checking this video out, and if it helped you, let me know. Hit that like button. If it didn't help you, and you don't like it, hit the thumbs down. It's okay. I understand. But yeah, if uh, if you want some more stuff like this, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification. Let me know, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye for now.